So in this video, we're going to look at something like this. If I'm not logged into this application, I'll have the login button. Okay, so if I click on the login button, type my username, I'll have my username displayed right beside the logout button, and then I can now log out. And before logging in, we only have the home button right here. And the list and add items URL will only be displayed to login users. And let's say you're not logged into this application, but have the URL. I'll log out and try to paste this URL. It will redirect you to the login page. And once you're logged in, it will now take you to whatever URL you're trying to reach before logging in. If you're not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this, you might consider subscribing so that you'll not miss our future videos. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to look at how to do authentication in our application. All along, the users of the application can open the application, enter data and list it out without any restriction. So in this one, we want to look at how to allow the users to log in before they are able to do any process in the application. All right, so we're going to do this with Django Registration Redux and this how to install it pip install django dash registration dash redux alright so the next step is to add the registration redux to the install apps okay so you can copy this line open settings the py and in the install apps paste it just above the django contrib art okay so save it and then move to the next step all right so next you'll have to do the migrate so that these application tables will be created in the database that is the registration redux okay it comes with predefined tables in the application all right so i'm going to paste that in the terminal all right in my case it says no migration to apply so if you're doing it for the first time you have about three of them to be migrated in the database okay so we can now move to the next step so we have to paste this code in settings to py i'm going to scroll down and paste it over there so once users register on your site you want them to confirm their email within seven days okay so the next is registration auto login so that is if you're registered the next time you come into the application it will log you in automatically all right so we have side one id so this is the first side of the django application so we are associating this with the side with id of one so login redirect is if you log in if you click on the login button and then type in your username and a password once you authenticate it it will redirect you to the home page okay you can put any url here so i'm redirecting users to the home page in my case save it and then move over to the next step all right next is to include all the urls that comes with the django registration redux so if you install this registration redux it comes with each set of urls okay so now we are including this in our applications url so now if you want to log in or log out we will type account slash logging or account slash logout so i'm going to copy this code and then show you how it works first we'll have to import the include keyword right here okay because we want to use it here to include the set of urls within the django registration application okay so i'm gonna do the import so we're gonna import it inside the urls of py so if you look at it, we have django.urls import path. So we're gonna import include as well. So I'm gonna just put it right before the path. And then remove this other line. Save it. And then copy the next part. So I'm gonna paste that just below the admin URLs. So just like how the admin works if i do if i want to go to admin i'm gonna type slash admin okay but behind admin there are a bunch of urls so this exactly the same that we are doing for the registration redux okay so if i save this anytime i want to go to the registration urls i'll have to type 
the application URL slash accounts slash login okay so when I do this the application knows that it needs to forward this request to look into the list of URLs in the Django registration application right so it does that but it sees that there are no base.html in our application so it is requesting for that and it cannot find it so that's what we're gonna create next okay so I'm gonna create a base.html I'm gonna have the same structure as my home page like if I go to home I want to use this as my base.html template I'm gonna open the home page okay I'm gonna save it as base.html okay so we'll have to create a field where the users will type their username and password so that's the next part so we're gonna copy this and paste it where we want the users to type their username and a password within the base document okay or within the base template so right here I want the, the login details to appear just below this line okay so I'm gonna paste it right here and then indent that properly save it and then refresh or try to log in again account slash login so we have our login fields right here okay so I wanna remove this button so I wanna replace it with this I'm gonna cut it out and then paste it right here save it and then refresh again alright so this is how I want it so let's test the username and the password so in a previous video we created a username let's try to log in with that okay I need to um, remember that password okay I'm logged in now so with the current look you can tell whether you are logged in or logged out okay we can test that by going to the admin okay so this shows us that we are logged in okay right at the front end we want to show something that tells us that we are logged in okay so something like to create a login and logout button right here if you're logged in it will give you log out and if you're not logged in that button will be changed to login so let's see how that is done so copy this code and then paste it in the nav bar All right so right where the site button is where I have this side button I want to replace it with a login and logout button All right that is the search right here I'm gonna replace it with a code save and then refresh All right so since we are logged in our username is displayed and then next to it we have a logout button if I click on the logout it will now change to login so if I click login type my username and my password alright so we have my username and logout I also have another user account let's see how that works I can log in the test right here we have test and logout so if you look at the code we have if request the user is authenticated display this link alright else give us the login URL so that's the logic there and then this template tag will query the user and then display the current login and then it will have pipe logout okay so this is how to implement logging and logout in your application so but before we end the video we want to restrict users from being able to click the list and then add items when they are not logged in so for example right here I'm logged in as test if I log out 
I should not be able to click the list of items or the add items okay so we want to restrict this from anonymous users so the simplest way to do that is using decorators okay so we're gonna import the login decorator in our views.py and then use it right here okay and then use that login required decorator wherever I want to restrict anonymous users so for example I want to restrict them from being able to access list items so I'm gonna have add login required okay so if I save it and then try to access this page it will force me to log in before I am able to access that URL okay or that view on the address bar here it knows that we're trying to go to the list of items so but it forces us to log in for us before it takes us there so once I log in it will take us to the list items all right so let's test that when you're authenticated it will now redirect you to wherever you wanted to go to okay but if I log out the add items is not yet restricted so if I click it it will give me access to it so if I add the login decorator again on that on the add items if I refresh it will require me to log in before I'm able to access that page okay so we want to take this one step further we don't want the users to be able to see this list when they're not logged in okay so now to do that you will use this if the user is authenticated then you can show us the link else don't display the link all right so I'm gonna head over to the nav bar and copy this line if request the user is authenticated then have this URL so I'm gonna have an if right here so now we are wrapping the URLs with if request the user is authenticated so this will hide this link from users when they're not authenticated so I'm gonna save it and then refresh so you can see since we are locked out that list would not be displayed or would not be shown to us so if I log in then we'll see the list up here okay we'll still need the login decorator if the user copy this URL and then logs out then paste the URL right here it will still force them to log in before they able to access that URL so this is how to add authentication in your application I hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive these kind of videos from us see you in the next one